It's anchored better. Okay. What do you think, Mark? Great. Yeah. For she has gone down. This, this is good. Yes, so today we are starting uh, Yeb, right? Yeb is front piece. We are actually doing a whole bunch of stuff about him. So we had him in a few days ago and we drew all the guidelines that we want to like have the like general flow of the whole body. And we came up with something like this for the front. So we're actually going to replicate it a little bit on the back as well. But not the, not the picture itself, but the, the flow of it and everything. So it will be like a suit we put on him, but not just like a patch tattoo. So it's going to be like a whole feeling of everything and it's going to look really cool. Okay. And how, many, how many days are you working for it on it? Uh, we got three days now to begin. And then I did like my one of the previous body suits I finished, we can, like he counted like how many sessions we did, and he said it was like 34. But it's like super detailed, so yeah. and this one is a kind of a whole different style, so it's not going to be that many sessions. And this, yeah, this is super simple. <laughs> okay. So yeah, yeah. We're starting a very nice body suit today. Okay. Alright, yeah, can't take it long. He's like, no, a few days. something a bit lar uh, larger scale than I usually do. There's really so much detail that can go into the piece, so I'm having a lot of fun. And stay tuned, we'll see how that's out. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi everyone, I'm Anders, I'm the head of design at Club Sinners, a new uh, clothing brand that we are currently launching. Um, I'm a fashion designer, I'm currently studying fashion design in Aarhus, uh, I've got six months to go. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to being a part of this project and seeing what we're up to. Yeah. Um, tell a bit about the future of Club Sinners also. The future of Club Sinners, that's... Uh, I think it's going to be real cool. Um, we're doing some exciting collabs right now. We're trying to get on our feet. Uh, we're trying to hit the ground running, doing a bunch of different stuff. Mainly doing like uh, casual wear right now. Uh, but in the future, it's definitely going to be more elevated uh, at some point. But for now, we're happy doing what we're doing, and people are seeming to love it. So it's real cool. So today you're going behind the scenes as well. So we have all these crazy tattoos going on in the studio, but uh, me, Anna, and Simon, we are we are going to the harbor. We're down at the harbor now because uh, we're going here. Actually, we're doing a collaboration project with Club Sinners with uh, a very famous uh, Danish brand called Halo, which are owned by Hummel. Maybe some of you know that it's one of the biggest. Uh, sports brands in uh, Denmark for sure. It's a very, very big company. And uh, they are the owners of uh, Halo, which are like a military inspired brand, which we're doing a collab with. I think it will be coming out in August. Hopefully. We've been in the process of just like figuring out where we're going. And today we're hopefully gonna lock down the styles that we're gonna do together. So come on board, we're going behind the scenes. We are making a 
disc, disc brake? brake? <laughs> a disc brake. It's on a bike. So we actually have like some other wheel. And then this is the disc. What you're working on? Uh, we're closing off a uh, length piece I started a while ago. It's a little bit messy now, but it's a gladiator with a green pattern. And we're closing it off now with another piece of green pattern. Um, and I'm really happy about how everything has turned out this far so far. So I'm really excited to just close it off, high five, and uh, sleep well tonight. Um, yeah. Ja. Er du god til at snakke for en kamera? Eller vil du helst være fri? Jamen jeg kan jo godt. Altså ja. jeg er jo lidt ligesom Johanne. Okay. Som bliver sådan et okay. <laughs> okay, Mia, what are you working on? Uh, I'm making an M for uh, Sofia. Okay. Uh, yeah. Is it a retouch or a fresh tattoo? It's a retouch. Okay. Yeah, just to make like a, a little bit more blank and all. Going uh, definitely forward, we have uh, done this side, so we have this side left, and once we're done, we're just gonna see, you know, through the whole piece and see if we need to tighten things up because it's it's a pattern, so it has to be kind of tight. Uh, but I would say pretty good, you know, really good. I'm having a good time. It's fun, and uh, it's really it feels good to close up this piece too. It's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's your work, uh, the whole thing? Yes. Okay. The whole thing. I would say I'm a little bit faster now than I was when I started, but definitely, uh, definitely really happy about it. Oh yeah. Yesterday we pretty much did all the line work, but it's like the rough line work. So today we're doing, I'm going to start with this sensor part right here and my goal is pretty much to finish that. So that will be like the second thing. And then uh, tomorrow, probably down here. So we'll kind of like work in the sensor and then um, yeah, hopefully we'll finish that like tomorrow. And then next week we'll go again. And I would have made, I would have made like a million. <laughs> I didn't lose a million, I just didn't make a million. I had, yeah, I had a shit ton of money in PlayStation when it was caught, and then COVID came and like it was going down. So I bought, I bought them at like 6,000, around 6,000, and now they're like, I'm gonna check them right there. Last year you were talking about PS5 drop and you were really expecting it to, to go up. Yeah. yeah. Did you make any profit or just break even? Yeah, I've, I've kind of gone through that. What's up, Sina Saint family? So today I am working on Yuri from the Netherlands. We are today gonna do his forearm. We're gonna do three days in a row, so we're gonna. I'm gonna try to do all the way around his forearm and do the middle of his biceps. Uh, for what we got planned today, he wanted to have one of those uh, butterfly girls that I do, the butterfly project. Um, so right now I'm just fixing the stencil. Uh, we'll find, we just found the correct size. And uh, then we're gonna roll from there. Okay man, in a second you can check out the design. We can we get that stencil placed on. That's why I'm also betting for that one. Yeah, 
they they went down. They were four crowns for stock. Yeah. 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 Then they went down to half a crown. Now they're one and a half. I bought in the one and a half. Should bought in one and a half. Yeah. But they did at least 80 yeah. new planes in this. So they're not in any financial trouble. What's up, Sinners? So we have finished up a good amount of the statue. We're probably a bit more than halfway. The hair is not taking too long time, so getting halfway into the face, just getting all the geometrics and everything in, in place. So we're kind of getting there. Should finish in a couple hours, I think. Sinners. So we just finished up the first day with Yuri. We got to do the full underarm piece. Tomorrow we're gonna put a Saint Michael, the Archangel, on the other side. And then on day three we're gonna finish up the the remaining parts. Hopefully we can do the full sleeve. Uh, yeah, man, we've been grinding. It's like 7:30. We've been going over a couple hours. Check it out. No. <laughs> 